Still proving circle theorems. This time we're going to prove the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. Cyclic, circle, quadrilateral, a shape with four sides. This is a shape with four sides inside a circle. Uh, now let's take a look at what that looks like. So take a circle, that's our cyclic bit. Put four dots on it anywhere you like around the outside. Join them up and what you've created is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, so that's a cyclic quadrilateral. What special thing uh, happens with a cyclo cyclic quadrilateral? Well, here's what the theorem states. The opposite angles are supplementary. So this angle is going to add to this angle to make 180. This angle is going to add to this angle to make 180 degrees. So those both add up to make 180. That's what the cyclic quadrilateral theorem states. All right, so how should we prove that? Well, we should probably start drawing lines. And when it comes to circles, there are some useful lines that we should be used to drawing. Uh, here's the center, and we draw a bunch of radiuses. Um, a radius, a radius, a radius, and a radius. Uh, well, I don't know, let's call that A, let's call that B, let's call that C, uh, let's call that D, and let's call that the origin. And so by now, these proofs should be feeling fairly similar. You should notice that you've got four radiuses, so they are all equal. And then it should be clear that we have uh, some isosceles triangles. So um, let's call them uh, W, W, because that angle is going to equal that angle. Uh, y, Y, X, X, and Z. Z. And so now we have four isosceles triangles, and we know that all of those angles um, equal, 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 and equal. All right, so I'll just write in those four triangles are isosceles. I'm not going to make mention yet of W, X, Y, and uh, Z. Um, we'll move on to that. All right, so from here, what can we do? Well, um, I've got some other angles here which I can explore. Uh, these ones here. And let's call them I, J, K, and L. So that gives me four angles there. And you should note that I, J, K, and L are explementary. They add together to make 360 degrees. So we can say that I plus J plus K plus L equals 360 degrees. And the reason they're explementary um, 360 degrees. Uh, now, what else can we say here? Well, we've got four relationships that are all identical. So we can say L plus 2W equals 180. We can say K plus 2Y, J plus 2X, and I plus 2Z all equal 180 degrees. And we have these four equations here that are all true because of the internal angles of a triangle. Now, uh, where can we go to from here? All right, Eureka, I see it. I see an equation here with I, J, K, and L is equal to 360. And I see four other equations where I, J, K, and L each make an appearance. So I could rearrange these equations all to make I the subject, and then I could substitute those equations into that equation. So a little bit of movie magic. All right, so I've made them all the subject. Now I'm going to put this in here, that in there, that in there, and that in there equals 360. All right, so now I have this big, long equation. Things are looking pretty wild. Uh, now the 180s can all get grouped together to make uh, 720. And then I'm left with negative 2z, negative 2x, negative 2y, negative 2w equals 360. Now, I could take all these negatives and move them to this side, and they'll be positive. I can take that 360 over to here and sub or subtract it from both sides. And what I'm left with is 720 minus 360 is 360. And, and then all these negatives become positive on the other side. 2z plus 2x plus 2y plus 2w. Now, I could factorize that, bring 2 on the outside, and then divide by 2, and well, divide both sides by 2. And what I'll get is 180 equals z plus x plus y plus w. 
Now, believe it or not, we are pretty much done. Uh, now, remember what we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove that opposite angles are supplementary. Right? So we're trying to prove that this angle, which is WZ, and this angle, YX, add together to make 180. That's what we're trying to prove. So, I think I've already proven it. Therefore, 180 equals WZ, WZ, plus X plus Y. WZ plus X plus Y. They are opposite angles. They add together to make 180. Therefore, they are supplementary. Now, what else? Well, I've only done half of it, right? Because opposite angles are supplementary. That states that these are supplementary, but also these are supplementary. So, therefore, 180 equals... If I just change the order that these are being added together, or change the order that these are being added together, I can say that W plus Y, W plus Y, plus Z plus X, Z plus X, is true, right? Therefore, angle BAD and BCD are supplementary, and angle ABC and CDA are complementary. Proven. Okay, uh, that's a wild one, right? But we get there in the end. We're looking for relationships. We're creating little constructions from the radius. Uh, this little thing where we divide it by two, that happens in quite a few proofs. Um, that is the cyclic quadrilateral theorem.